a 24-year-old Algerian man arrested in Thailand earlier this year on suspicion of CO developing and selling the infamous spy eye banking Trojan was extradited this week to the United States, where he faces criminal charges for allegedly hijacking bank accounts at more than 200 financial institutions. Hamza Bendelaoy, who authorities say used the nickname BX1 online, is accused of operating a botnet powered by SpyEye, a complex banking trojan that he also allegedly sold and helped develop. Bendelaoy was arraigned on May 2, 2013 in Atlanta, where he is accused of leasing a server from a local internet company to help manage his SpyEye botnet. A redacted copy of the indictment, PDF, against Bendelaoy was unsealed this week. The document says Bendela Oi developed and customized components of SpyEye that helped customers steal online banking credentials and funds from specific banks. The government alleges that as BX1, Bendela Oi was an active member of Darkota.com, an underground fraud forum that I've covered in numerous posts on this blog. BX1's core focus in the community was selling WebInjects custom add-ons for SpyEye that can change the appearance and function of banking websites as displayed in a victim's web browser. More specifically, BX1 sold a type of WebInject called an Automated Transfer System or ATS, this type of malware component was used extensively with SpyEye and with its close cousin the Zeus Trojan to silently and invisibly automate the execution of bank transfers just seconds after the owners of infected PCs logged into their bank accounts. Zeus slash SpyEye slash ICE 9 ATS for sale, BX1 announced in a post on Darkota.com thread dated January 16, 2012, Hey all. I'm selling private ATSs. Working and tested. Contact me for bank. Can develop bank ATS from your choice. The government alleges that BX1 slash Bendela Oi made millions selling SpyEye, SpyEye components, and harvesting financial data from victims in his own SpyEye botnet. But BX1 customers and associates on Darkota.com expressed strong doubts about this claim noting that someone who was making that kind of money would not blab or be as open about his activities as BX1 apparently was. In my previous post on BX1, I noted that he reached out to me on several occasions to brag about his botnet and to share information about his illicit activities. In one case, he even related a story about breaking into the networks of a rival ATS web inject developer named Simlink. BX1 said he told Simlink to expect a visit from the local cops if he didn't pay BX1 to keep his mouth shut. It's not clear whether that story is true or if Simlink ever paid the money, in any case, Simlink was arrested on cyber crime charges in October 2012 by authorities in Moldova. The redacted portions of the government indictment of Bendela Oi are all references to BX1's partner the author of the Spy I Trojan and a malware developer known in the underground alternatively as Gribodman and Harderman. In a conference call with reporters today, the United States attorney Sally Quillian Yates said the real name of the principal author of Spy I was redacted from the indictment because he had not yet been arrested. A man arrested in Thailand on charges of stealing millions from online bank accounts fits the profile of a miscreant nicknamed BX1, a hacker fingered by Microsoft as a major operator of botnets powered by the Zeus banking Trojan. As reported by the Bangkok Post, 24-year-old Hamza Bendelaoy, an Algerian national, was detained this at Bangkok's Suvarnab Humi Airport, as he was in transit from Malaysia to Egypt. This young man captured news media attention when he was brought out in front of Thai television cameras handcuffed but smiling broadly, despite being blamed by the FBI for hacking into customer accounts at 217 financial institutions worldwide. Thai investigators told reporters that Bendela Oi had amassed huge amounts in illicit earnings, and that with just one transaction he could earn 10 to 20 million dollars. He's been traveling the world flying first class and living a life of luxury. I didn't fully appreciate why I found this case so interesting until I started searching the internet and my own servers for his email address. 
Turns out that in 2011, I was contacted via instant message by a hacker who said he was operating botnets using the Zeus and Spy I Trojans. This individual reached out to me repeatedly over the next year, for no apparent reason except to brag about his exploits. He contacted me via Microsoft's MSN instant message platform, using the email address daniel.h.b at universityofsidon.com. That account used the alias Daniel. I later found out that Daniel also used the nickname BX1. According to several forums on which BX1 hung out until very recently, the man arrested in Thailand and BX1 were one and the same. A review of the email addresses and other contact information BX1 shared on these forums suggests that BX1 was the 19th and 20th John Doe named in Microsoft's 2012 legal suit seeking to discover the identities of 39 alleged Zeus bot masters. From the complaint Microsoft submitted to the, the United States District Court for the Eastern District of Virginia, and posted at ZeusLegalNotice.com. The Daniel I chatted with was proud of his work, and seemed to enjoy describing successful attacks. In one such conversation, dated January 2012, BX1 bragged about breaking into the systems of a hacker who used the nickname Simlink and was renowned in the underground for writing complex, custom web injects for Zeus and SpyI users. Specifically, Simlink's code was designed to automate money transfers out of victim banks to accounts that Zeus and SpyI bot masters controlled. Here's an excerpt from that chat, it's not clear whether BX1 had anything to do with it, but according to a lengthy thread on Mazifica, one of the Underweb's most exclusive cyber crime forums, Simlink was arrested late last year in Moldova. In a post on October 11, 2012, Forum regulars said Simlink had been arrested the day before, and that he got caught because he flaunted his ill-gotten wealth with fancy cars, a fully loaded Land Cruiser 200, valued at more than $100,000, and ostentatious lifestyle choices that were apparently considered far beyond the means of a local auto mechanic. As they do any time a forum member gets arrested, the forum administrators banned Simlink's account to distance themselves from the former member. Economic police came to Simlink yesterday. All computers were seized, one was encrypted and two not, all jabbers at the moment of seizure were online. Ban him temporarily, but better permanently. He was received adultly. Idiot overplayed. It's safe to say that BX1 had his share of enemies, and it's possible that Simlink and Slash or his buddies got the last laugh. According to information obtained by Krebs on security, attackers recently targeted BX1 in a successful hack to break into his computer, making off with many files, email messages, screenshots and images from his machine. Among them were scanned copies of two identity cards, both bearing the name and likeness of Hamza Daniel Bendelahoy one from a University of Sutton, and another that appears to be some kind of international ID card. It's not clear whether these documents are legitimate or manufactured, but probably the latter, 